Hey, hey, hey guys. Welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So what we're doing today, this is a little bit of a different uh, video than the normal or the usual. I recently had someone, I can't remember if they left a comment or maybe it was a, during the live chat on one of my recent lives. Um, but anyway, they wanted to know if I would do a video um, just sharing some of the tips and tricks or however different ways to, to place AB drills. And I was like, sure, I can do that. So that's what we're doing today, okay? There's nothing rocket sciencey here. If you've been diamond painting for a while, then you probably already have your, um, you know, set in your ways about how you place your ABs. Um, but if you're new or have never really um, placed ABs before or had a kit that had ABs, then um, this will be a great little uh, video for you. So... First and foremost, let's talk about what AB drills actually are, okay? So, these here are AB drills. Can you see how shiny and pretty they are? Aren't they so pretty? They're so pretty. These are regular drills, okay? Um, hope you can see those okay. Yeah, they're pretty and shiny and stuff like that, okay? But the AB... You can see how much different they look, right? So, you can see like blues and greens and purples and such as that. Okay. So, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And what that is, is it's a coating that they put on top of regular drills to make AB drills. AB is just short for Aurora Borealis. So, they just take this really pretty coating and place it on top of regular drills and then they add them into a lot of different kits right you can buy them um most a lot of kits will come with ab's especially uh, from places like diamond art club or um, this particular canvas that i'm working on is from bella safina um so that's what ab drills are when you place them, you can see I already have some placed right here. Um, I will drop you down there so you can kind of see it if I can get my um, thing to cooperate. So you can see I have my regular blue drills here. And then these are the ABs. Okay. They're really, really pretty, right? Um, they just kind of make your... Um, canvas stand out I'm trying to get my thing there to cooperate sorry if i may just seasick a little bit so anyway the first thing you want to know about placing um a b drills is that there are multiple different mediums you can use i guess you would say different kinds of waxes or glues or whatever um and when I say glues, I really am just talking about this product here. A lot of people like to use these micro glue dots um, for diamond painting. And we'll talk about that in a second. Some other products, waxy products that people are familiar with is the regular pink wax from, um, this one's from Diamond Art Club. Or sometimes you'll get a little square piece of wax or a rectangular piece or a circle piece. And then we also get, um, this is blue wax. However, do not make fun of it. It is one that I've been using and it is a little, uh, yeah. Rolled and balled up there with a trashy drill on it. <laughs> um, but basically it's similar to pink wax. Um, it's just blue and it does work a little bit different than the pink wax. Um, a lot of people prefer the blue over the pink. But it's the same sort of texture and consistency. Okay. And then you have um, a couple of other waxes that you can snag from Etsy. Um, they are creators who have who make theirs homemade. One of them is um, Not Your Mama's Mud. 
and I love this this wax a lot. You can tell I've used it. Um, so we'll talk about that. And then another type of wax that a lot of people use is the like patty wax. This one happens to be the super sticky patty wax. Um, another sort of product that people use is things like this. This is Aline's Instant Tacky. It's just that putty that you use for like poster boards or whatever. Um, some people use the blue tack. Uh, let's see what others do we have in my little wax bag here. Um, I think that's it. Um, you may get your waxes and things like this, you know, little pots. Um, but for the most part, those are the different kinds of waxes that I have and that most people would have on hand. So, now that's just for normal everyday diamond painting. Um, in my personal opinion, um, sorry, Poppy's over here stretching in her, <laughs> in my chair. She's laying on my blanket all nice and cozy. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, there are things that uh, work better than others for placing AB drills, okay? The very first thing that I would not recommend and that I would like take completely out of the whole wax scenario is this or blue tack or anything tacky putty um, related. It's way too stringy for ABs and it ends up just making a mess. So this I do not recommend. Bye bye for ABs. No, no for ABs. And then um, the next thing that I would not recommend for ABs personally is the super sticky patty wax. Um, mostly because a couple of reasons. One, it pulls the coating off of the ABs a little bit, and it also leaves a lot of residue on the ABs at times. So I wouldn't use that for my ABs. Another product that I would not recommend um, probably is the pink wax. The reason is because it usually, what you hear the biggest complaint is most people say that it will like literally pull when you place an AB down and you pull back up off of it, your wax is all left on the AB. Like it, this, the ABs will literally pull the wax out of your pen. So, I don't recommend that. However, if you do have a single placer or a multi-placer that has pink wax in it, you can get away with using it for ABs if that wax is a little bit used up or dirty. Like, say you've been using it for a few hours or an hour or whatever. And, I mean, well, let's say, okay, let's take that back. Pink wax usually don't last for an hour. Um, but say you've placed several drills with it and it's time to place ABs and you don't have anything but pink wax, you can use the pink wax, just be like light handed when you place them, um, whether with a single or multi-placer, um, because it can still pull that wax out. It just can be a headache. Uh, let's see. What do we have left? We have glue dots. I have placed ABs with glue dots. Just keep in mind that when you do that, you want to make sure that um, this one has glue dots in it. This one has, like most of my single placers have glue dots in them in all of my pens, um, I believe, except for one. Um, and I'll show you that here in a second. But Whenever I place glue dots or place ABs with my glue dots, I always make sure that um, that it's been used really good and it's not like fresh. Um, I've been using it for a while, but even at that, I do it lightly because the glue dots, even when it's used for a while, still can pull a little bit of the coating off. You wouldn't really notice it a whole lot until you look at the 
the actual glue in your pen and you can see sometimes there's like a little bit of shiny on it and that's usually from the coating on the ABs, okay? Um, next we have um, the Not Your Mama's Mud. I like using this in my multi-placer when I place ABs. I really like this one for that. Um, I use it in my multi-placer a lot anyway. This particular pen has Not Your Mama's Mud in there and then glue dots in the single tip part. Um, but I do like using the Not Your Mama's Mud in the multi-placer, okay? So if you have Not Your Mama's Mud, pull it out and use that for your ABs, um, especially if you like to multi-place. Keep in mind though, whenever you do do it, you still want to load your pen up, place some drills, you know, and then before you get ready to use it for your mult for your ABs, just kind of, you know, dirty it up a little bit. Tap it on your jeans, you know, tap it on your hand, something to get it a little bit um, dirty, <laughs> I guess. Um, and then also the blue wax. If you got blue wax, that works really well for ABs. You can use that in your multi-placer or single placer, both, either or is fine. I use that a lot for AB placement. If it is very new though, if it's freshly loaded, you're gonna have a little bit of the same kind of deal with the pink wax where the ABs will pull the, the blue wax out of your pen sometimes too. So it really just about anything you use, you wanna make sure it's not fresh, freshly loaded in your pen when you go to place your ABs. Now, a couple of other things keep in mind. You don't have the problem with the plastic multi-placers, um, but the single tips, the metal single tips, when you place ABs, um, even sometimes regular drills, you'll place one and you'll see an actual like marred spot on top of the drill from the metal by pressing. Um, so there are a couple of things you can do to like get away from that. This is a plastic tip. This one came in a kit and I can't remember which or where or what, but you can buy these on Amazon, okay? Um, and I just have, keep it filled with blue wax, okay? And when you do that, when you use those to place your ABs, it doesn't leave like, it doesn't cause any sort of damage, you know, to your AB drills, which is nice. Um, so I yeah, like to use that a lot. I don't have a multi-placer on the end because I actually dropped this one and cracked it and tried to glue it back, but it's kind of still, yeah, I don't like to multi-place with it too much. So I kind of reserve this for my single placing. Um, but anywho. Um, one last thing that you can do is pull out your good old tweezers. If you just flat, do not like any wax you use, um, you can always use tweezers, okay? Um, it's not easy and I'm not great at it, but it's an option, you know? You can play, place them down. You don't have to worry about wax or, you know, anything like that. You just place them with your tweezers. So now what I'm gonna do is get you down here and just place a few, not a bunch, but a few. Um, if I can get you where I need you. Into the business. I think you're where I need you to be. Um, and then I'll place a few. So we'll try the tweezers first. Like I said, I'm not great at it with tweezers, so, um, but I'll place a few. And then hope that you can see that well. I'm not used to doing this close up 
of filming. <laughs> but uh, there are people who are really good at like multi-placing with tweezers. I can't do that. Like they can grab like four or five or whatever. And I'm like, nah, I've tried it. And then I end up, they go flying every which way. It's not pretty. So I tend to just do one at a time if I have to. But I'm just going to be honest. I don't have the patience to place drills with tweezers. I just don't. So I'm going to put this up. Okay. Goodbye, tweezers. Okay. Now, um, I will use the multi-placer end on this pen that has the Not Your Mama's Mud in it. This one. And you can see, um, I'd like for you to be down even a little bit further. Give me a second to get you where I need you. Okay, I think that's marvelous. So, let's try this again. So, this has the Not Your Mama's Mud in it, okay? And we're just going to place a few here. And you can see... It didn't take any of the, like, coating off of there. I hope you can see that. I don't, I know it's too fuzzy. Um, but it didn't take any of the coating off. So, I really like it for placing, multi-placing. And you can use it in your single place or two if you like to. Sorry if I'm, like, um causing you to go deaf with my loud, loud voice. I hope it's not loud. It's just the camera is way down here and my face is like right over the camera. <laughs> um, and then we'll try the glue dots. I have glue dots in this one. Um, I would like for you to see what it looks like, but it's not going to work. Um, I have the flash on, so it's like, a little bit awkward but you can see that it is picking them up and placing them down not causing any issues however I will say that the glue dot in this pen has been used for a while so it's not like fresh right not fresh okay and then we'll do this one here so you can see how it's used. Again, it has blue wax in it. I'll put a little bit more in. Let me fill it up a little bit. Rub it on my pant leg for a minute. Okay. All right, now let's try that. Whenever you do this, though, you still want to be light-handed. Anytime you place ABs, if you're a person that is very heavy-handed, you kind of want to be cautious of that. I have one stuck on there. But, yeah, so, easy peasy. My preferred, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull you back up. Okay, so, as I was saying, my preferred um, method, what I usually always reach for is um, when I'm, like I said, when I'm multi-placing, I always reach for the um, multi-placer that has some Not Your Mama's Mud in it. And if I am single placing, I will grab a, either a pen that has super sticky, um, not super sticky, I'm so sorry, the glue dots, the these micro glue dots, um, or the blue wax to single place. And that's usually what I stick to. My favorite, though, 
is the Nuts or Mama's Mud above anything else. So, um, if you don't have that, um, then the next choice for me would be the glue dots and the um, blue wax. So, those are just some options. However, if all you do have on hand is pink wax, then you, you know, just have to be easy with it when you place them. Make sure that the wax is a little bit dirty. Rub it on your jeans, your shirt, your pajama pants, whatever you're, you know, wearing. And um, then just be easy when you place them, you know. Don't, you know, heavy-handed place them. That's the best tip I think that I can give. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Back with this one. Um, but I do really like to use the plastic tip when I'm multi-placing or single placing just because I feel like it doesn't cause any damage at all to see some of that blue wax just came out because it's new. I just put it in there. So, um, but that's kind of, uh, what I have to share as far as ABs go. I hope it helps a little bit or helps someone um, that's kind of new to the diamond painting ball game anyway. Um, I hope it wasn't confusing at all. So, um, as far as that goes, that is it for me. Um, but how pretty are those? Isn't that so pretty? Can you even see how pretty that is? Look how pretty that is. It's so They make me happy. ABs make me happy. They're beautiful. All right, guys. I will go ahead and let you go. Um, I just wanted to share some of those tips with you. And um, if you have anything to add, anything you prefer to use, leave that in the comment below. And other people can read um, what your thoughts are and get other ideas as well. That's always very helpful. So, um, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button before you skedaddle. And if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Ding, ding, ding. To get notified the next time I upload another video. All right. You guys have a great rest of the day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.